Um, it seems to us as if Hezbollah is increasing its uh, tax, but uh, if you look at the other side of the coin, uh, we are attacking Hezbollah deeper and deeper in Lebanon, uh, in the Beka Valley where the uh, um, um, uh, militias are, Hezbollah mil militias, their uh, strongholds are, uh, their weapon caches are, and so it, it's, it still stays below the threshold, and the fires that erupt are because it's summertime. Right. Um, and let me uh, also remind ourselves that there are about 80,000 Israelis displaced from the yep. northern of, of Israel and over 100,000 Lebanese displaced. So uh, the resolution of this cannot be that uh, as the war ends in Gaza, everybody holds still because the inhabitants will not go back. So something has to happen. Either uh, Hezbollah agrees to withdraw its forces from the border, maybe to the Litani, maybe to 10, 15 kilometers, so they have no direct uh, eye contact with our villages and towns, mm -hmm. or there will be uh, an Israeli move. It can be a limited move that drives into an incursion into Lebanon not overtaking Lebanon, maybe not all the way to the Litani, but 10, 15 kilometers. Mm -hmm. There are no civilians in that area, so anything that moves is Hezbollah. So there won't be a need for uh, uh, a great care of what you shoot. So that can take place with Israel saying this is a limited effort and mm -hmm. see how Hezbollah reacts. If it wants a full-scale war, or if the Iranians allow them to escalate, then so be it. But I think a move like that uh, uh, by Israel uh, would be accepted as, a, as legitimate, mm -hmm. obviously, because the people of the North are taken up as hostages. So I think this is a, an initial move that can work. All right, uh, thank you very much as always for your assessment of this ongoing situation. Much appreciated. Thank you.